Chris, what is our fourth main topic today? This is from Bob. House of the Dragon. Just Bob. Just Bob. Hi, Bob. Hi, Bob. House of the Dragon has revealed its opening credits, and it does reuse the Game of Thrones theme song. Some are debating if it was lazy, but it makes sense to me. Also, can people stop saying they're frequently reusing Thrones music? They've reused maybe two minutes total, if that, in two hours. There's plenty of new music, lol. Anyways, thoughts on the score? I'll tell you what, Bob, let's go one by one. Let's talk about that episode last night that played. Now, just so you know, we are not going to do an in-depth spoiler review here. But if you want that, at 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time today, we've got our Game of Thrones House of the Dragon after show. Once again, that'll be at 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, a little under four hours from now. Uh, that's 6 p.m. East Coast time. So if you guys want, want to get together, let's all talk in a big open spoilery way about last night's episode, House of the Dragon. Come and join us. But for now, let's, let's talk about it briefly and touch on the thing about the music as well. Before I talk about the music, I Anne and I sat down in the TJCS theater last night and watched the new House of the Dragon episode. Lord, completely floored. I'm watching this and I'm thinking, okay, okay, no big fights, no big battles, and I am riveted every second. It's all character. It's all character and story. It is truly, and you watch every one of these damn characters playing the Game of Thrones. They're all playing the game. They all, even the ones that look like they're not really in the game, they're just there watching. Oh, no, no, no. They're a pivotal piece, piece of the game as well. Matt Smith continues to kill me as Damon Tigarian. I love him. This young actress, I, I, I don't recall her name right now, who plays Renera, she owns. Like, I'm sitting there, we're watching this episode. I won't say what scene it was or what happens. And like something happens in the scene and my wife laying beside me just says, hashtag boss bitch. And I'm like, <laughs> yeah, she is. And I'm just like, I, 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 everything about, I'm loving every character. I'm loving all the, the backstabbing and the intrigue. And they have somehow found a way to nail this show. Now, Grant, we're only two episodes in. We're only, and I guess the next episode is when the real big time jump is going to happen. But I... Yeah, that episode ended last night, and I was just like, yeah, this is, they've really got something special here. This is absolutely fascinating. Patty Constantine continues to kill it as the king. Um, and Otto Hightower is like, oh my God, it's, it, I love this episode. What can I tell you? I thought it was absolutely great. And there is a moment in this episode, if you've seen it, you'll know what I'm talking about. When two sides are facing off that, I just, chills, man, just absolute chills. I love the episode that we saw. Let me talk for a second about the music, though. So we finally get the opening credit scene of what House of the Dragon was going to be. And we find out that they did decide to use the music from Game of Thrones, which is really the theme of the throne. It's the theme of Westeros, really. And whatever you may say, both Game of Thrones and House of Dragon and whatever's going to come after it, it all revolves around that fucking Ikea chair. That that's this, it all revolves around that damn chair, that throne, as they call it, that really dangerous throne, as it turns out. I was honestly shocked when I heard there were people complaining that they decided to use the theme again. And, and I'll tell you why. I've gone a couple of times to go watch Rogue One again. Brilliant movie. Love Rogue One. But the same feeling I had the very first time I watched Rogue One. I had it again. That thing opens and it's just like, da, 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 da. Hey, listen, I'm not knocking the music in Rogue One. I'm not. But without that Star Wars fanfare, bum, ba, 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 without that, I just didn't feel like I was watching Star Wars. You know, that music plays, that Star Wars music plays, and I still criticize Lucasfilm that they don't use this. Well, it's only for the episodic. Screw that. It's Star Wars. That's the Star Wars music. You feel like instantly your brain associates everything with it, and that music plays, and your heart and your soul is ready to watch that story in a galaxy far, far away. And it really feels odd when, like, I sit down to watch, watch Rogue One and just this title comes up and some... Again, I'm perfectly good music. I'm just saying it ain't Star Wars. And I remember a lot of people when Rogue One came out shared that same sentiment. 
It's like, come on, this is dumb that you're not using the Star Wars music. Yes, it's not the episodic numbers, but this is still Star Wars. It's that universe. Why are you using this? And the people making Game of Thrones House of the Dragon apparently learned that lesson. So you know what? You're right. We're going back to Westeros. This is the, the, the Iron Throne story. We're talking about this world. Let's use that iconic music. And to hear people complain that they use that music, it's like, did you not remember what happened when Rogue One came out and we all complained that they didn't play the Star Wars music? Here they are playing the music that we want them to play and still some people complaining. Listen, it's all subjective. Maybe you wanted to hear an original piece of music, whatever. But to me, it was absolutely the right choice to stick with that music because that music starts to play. And like in Star Wars, I'm being whisked to a galaxy far, far away. Here, I'm being whisked away to the Seven Kingdoms. And it just puts my whole mind in the right mindset of playing. I love that they did it. So that's just my take on it. Guys, we want to take a second to thank a sponsor of today's episode, True Classic. This brand new sponsor has the absolute best fitting t-shirts that a man can buy. Finding the right t-shirt with a little bit of a dad bod is incredibly frustrating. Most t-shirts are either way too tight on your gut or look way too big and boxy. You're not in high school anymore and it's time to upgrade. True Classic has already helped over 2 million men finally get a better fit at an affordable price. And the John Campy Show viewers and listeners get access to the best deal they offer. For a limited time only, get 25% off using the code CAMPIA at trueclassic.com. Look, you and I both know that almost all of men's t-shirts are designed to look good on skinny models with six packs. But let's be honest, that's not most of us. True Classic tees taper off towards the bottom, but they fit tighter around the chest and shoulders. It's time to highlight your best attributes with a t-shirt that you can always confidently throw on. Like most of you guys, ever since college, I have always struggled to find proper fitting t-shirts that are comfortable. Well, True Classic from the moment I put on the shirt they sent me solves it. And True Classic doesn't just stop at tees. From polos and workout shirts with the same flattering fit. Upgrade your wardrobe with True Classic. Get 25% off at trueclassic.com with the promo code CAMPIA. Free shipping included on purchases over $100. 100% risk-free guarantee with a 30-day refund policy. Stay classy with True Classic. Your dad bod will thank you. Anyway, Chris, mm -hmm. you had a chance to see the new episode, House yeah. of the Dragon. Number one, what did you think about the episode in general? Number two, what do you think about the choice to actually use that music? Well, I had to rewatch it this morning because I tried watching it after I celebrated my birthday. And oh, that's not a good idea. It was like, I can't focus on Ms. this. Miss Denisio <laughs> didn't, uh, wasn't able to process it. <laughs> no, she was well. like, this is a lot of people I don't know. But this morning when I watched it, I loved it. I think the music in here is great. The opening sequence is so cool, too. Oh, yeah, the blood. The blood. Cool. Oh, yeah. it's great. We've talked before about this, too. Of brand identity for this show it's game of thrones still it's still that story it's a continuation of this right we're giving a tasty little prequel to what we saw before so i don't know why you wouldn't want those notes in there and when they play with the theme and they kind of invert some of the notes and do things in minor chords and stuff too it it's great i don't people want to complain about really weird things i feel like that's so nitpicky Anyway, mm -hmm. Rob, you you've, number one general impression of the episode, and then what do you think about the choice to go with the Game of Thrones music? Dude, first of all, I love this episode, and like you, there's a confrontation in the episode, and I got really tense. Oh God, I was yeah. waiting. I'm like, what is going to happen here? Because it looked like nothing good. But you know what? What I thought was going to happen didn't happen. Something different happened. And I was like, like you. I'm like, that was awesome. Um uh, and and I really think that, like you pointed out, there are nine movies with the Star Wars theme. And the Star Wars theme begins, and then each one of those movies, the music after the theme goes off into different directions. And with this, the Game of Thrones theme over the opening credit sequence, there's a lot of great new music throughout this episode. Really beautiful stuff that isn't reuse. And like you, I don't understand, like maybe if you did it like the solo movie shouldn't necessarily have the star wars theme but rogue one absolutely should have had the star wars theme because it was playing into the saga whatever and you know what else at the as the credits start at the end as the screen goes black but um but um but um but 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 the same way all the star wars episodic ones and they should at the end why not the beginning it doesn't make any sense to me you know i don't and and also i don't understand why they don't use crawls you know, the crawl came I agree from the whole, so uh, much. And you know, they even did that in video games and comics yep. and all that they would start with. So it was to me, it's at like you said, it's 
absolutely the right choice. And what was so interesting was, was I had heard that they were going to use the music, but then it was this opening credit sequence that does something totally different. You know, the blood in the streets. And I'm like, wow. And then there was one point where I think they dropped underwater. Mm -hmm. Like, and I was like, wait, what? You know, and yeah. I, it was so I'm trying to figure out, like, what does it all mean? Because it took me a couple of episodes to figure out, oh, they're showing where in the original Game of Thrones, where this episode's going to take place. You know, so I haven't quite figured out, like, mm -hmm. where what are they showing us right now? And I thought it was great. And hearing that, like you said, that is the story of Westeros. And if they do a Jon Snow thing, I mean, it's got, I think every Game of Thrones, it's going to be not the music, which we know is going to be the same. It's what are, the, what are they going to do with the opening credit sequence? Yeah. And I'm like, it, what's, and it's, it's not a reuse. They reorchestrated the theme. Mm -hmm. It's not the exact same theme. They've reorchestrated. There was more, there's a choir element to it as well. Like a the drums element. are heavier too. Yeah. They I had mean, like those, it those was bass awesome. Drums. And I, I, I don't understand. Like, look, look God bless everybody on the internet, but sometimes there are decidedly wrong takes. And I think <laughs> I think that I think not using the game to, to say, well, why didn't they give us a new theme? I think that is a, a wrong take. You know, you know what would have happened if they used a new theme? You know a lot of complaining oh, yeah. that they, they didn't. They, they would have said, eh. Not as good as the original. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and you know what? I'll, I'll be honest. That pr I probably would have been one of them. I would have said not the most important thing, but yeah, I don't like. I just love they play that uh, as soon as that doom, 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 starts. Like again, my my whole yeah. mind is it just brought like, us back I'm to that. There. Do you know what I would say? That. Do you know what I would say that you brought up? What I love about this show, even though we've only seen two episodes, is it feels like it belongs in the Game of Thrones universe. Yes. It feels mm -hmm. it's a new story. I, I'm really invested in all the characters, the different lands. You know how we're dealing with old Valerian bloodlines coming together. There's enough new here about this familiar universe that I'm really enjoying. It's not just a copy. Yeah. Yeah. And 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 the, it's I mean, I love Xerox. these characters. How cool is the sea snake? How cool is he? Mm. Uh, he's <laughs> he's cool badass, man. I I love that guy, and his whole history is really badass too. And mm -hmm. I I'm really enjoying this show and i think that having that it, as the dude would say in in uh in uh, uh you know the dude jeff bridges in the big lebowski the, big lebowski, the theme really ties the room together it really does and yeah it's true we are only two episodes in or the equivalent of seven disney plus show episodes <laughs> but hey you know it is what it is guys questions for you did you have a chance to watch the second episode of House of the Dragon? If so, what did you think in a not spoiler way? And don't forget, today at 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, that's 6 p.m. East Coast Time, we will be doing our House of the Dragon after show, all open spoiler discussion. Come on by and join us for that discussion. We're looking forward to it.